everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Today is going to be jalapeno day. I have so many jalapenos on these plants and I'm afraid they won't keep going unless I get all the peppers off of them. So I'm going to go up and harvest as many as I can and I had some great suggestions from some of you viewers to make cowboy candy. So that's what I'm going to do up in the kitchen. So stay tuned. My plan is to harvest all the red jalapenos. I want to leave the green ones on the plant for my farm market because that's what everybody loves is the green ones. But I like the red ones better. So I'm going to get out, I'll harvest it, and hopefully I'll get a few pounds and then I can make the cowboy candy. So I think I have a pretty big harvest. Let me take them out to the head house and weigh them and then take them up to the kitchen to make cowboy candy. So yesterday, after I got done harvesting, I got about five pounds of jalapeno peppers. So I brought them up to the kitchen. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys cleaned up and get them ready to make the cowboy candy. So part of them, maybe a third or less, I diced up in the little circles like they said in the recipe. And the other part, I decided I'd cut them in half and take a spoon and spoon out the seeds and the membranes. And it was a really good idea until I started to get my hands to burn. It was terrible. I should have wore gloves. Even after I got done cleaning all the jalapenos and washed my hands like three or four times, I had my ring on and it was still burning underneath my ring. So I had to pull it off and I've washed my hands probably about 10 times today and they're finally feeling better. So whenever you go to clean jalapenos, because I didn't think they were super hot that way, but they are, so be really careful and make sure you don't touch your eyes either. So like I said, after I cleaned the jalapenos last night, I got about four pounds. And I found a really good recipe online that looked like it should be pretty tasty. So I printed it off and I luckily have all the ingredients I need because I do a lot of canning and do a lot of cooking. So I have a lot of spices and ginger and um, vinegar and sugar. So I'll put a link to the uh, recipe down below so you guys can follow along if you wanna make it. And getting ready to make my recipe, all my pots that I usually cook with are a little bit about this big, they're nice size, but for the amount of jalapenos that I have, they would not fit in the pot. So I had to get the big guy out. So a little bit better to have a bigger pot than a smaller one, because you can mix it up easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix in my dry ingredients. The first main ingredient is sugar. And I have four cups of white sugar. Get that in, and then light brown sugar, two cups of that. And then I have all my spices and I mix them up. And like I said, they're gonna be in the recipe below, but let me read off what's in here. We got garlic, turmeric, mustard seed, sea salt, and ginger powder. So get all that in. And the last ingredient is apple cider vinegar. And I got three cups. So get it all mixed up together, put it on the stove and let it simmer for about five minutes until all the sugar and everything's dissolved into the vinegar. While that's simmering and the sugar's dissolving, I thought I'd show you my jars. I have them all sanitized and ready to go. Put them in the dishwasher and put on the sanitized cycle, along with my, uh, my funnel and grabbers and every other tool that I need to do my canning. And when that's done, I'll show you the next step of what we're gonna do with the jalapenos. I just checked the pot and all the sugar's dissolved, so the next step is to put the jalapenos in and simmer them for five to 10 minutes until they get a little bit soft. So I'm gonna stir them up and then simmer them for five to eight minutes. The peppers are ready to come out of the pot and I need to reduce the liquid that's left down a little bit. But before that, I'm gonna put the peppers in this bowl and this is an old bowl from the 1940s. It was one of my mom's wedding gifts. So it's kind of cold, I'm using it still. So I'm gonna put the, bowls in, no, the peppers in the bowl and then I'm gonna put them in each one of the uh, mason jars to get them ready for canning. So I'm gonna use my screen ladle to get the peppers out of the pot so I don't take a lot of fluid with them. Let it drain out. Get them in the bowl. The 
You could use a slotted spoon for the transfer of the peppers to the bowl, but this, the, my little screen ladle here works so much better for getting the fluid off and it's a lot faster. So while the liquid is simmering down, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the jars with the peppers. And I have my funnel, and I'm using a little half pint jars because I think once I open these, I'm not gonna be able to use a lot of it once, and I don't wanna have big jars in the refrigerator because it'll go bad. So I'll go ahead and get these filled up. And we'll wait till it reduces down, and then we'll put more liquid inside and get them ready for canning. So the sauce that's gonna go on top of the jalapeno peppers in the jar has been reduced down. Instead of messing around with that big pot and trying to get it over, I'm gonna use my bowl that I had the peppers in. Oh, this really smells amazing. All of my lids and rings are sanitized in the pot here, ready to go. And I'm going to pour the liquid over, use my funnel again, and I'm going to keep it a half inch or so from the top of the jar. So you're going to make sure there's some room. Right there, perfect. So transfer it to the next one. Little magnet to get my lid out. Get it on the jar. Ready for the next one. The four pounds of the jalapeno peppers made 10 half pint jars for me, so I'm really excited about that. So they need to go into the water bath, so once it boils, I'm gonna put them in, and I'm gonna leave them in for two minutes, then pull them out, put them upside down on top of a nice towel, and let them seal, and I should be able to store them for a year. So of course, as I was putting the peppers into the jars, I had to taste them, and they tasted amazing. And then I read a note on the recipe, and it says you should wait a week before you open the jars because all the flavors meld together. So I can't imagine it tastes even better than what it did, but I'm really excited to try it. I have the jars out of the water bath. I changed my mind, because I can't find anything about doing to have pint jars for two minutes. I did them like I normally do for 10 minutes. Turned them upside down, because that's what my grandmother always did to make them seal. So I'm gonna let them sit here for a couple hours and they'll pop and then I'll flip them over and they'll be ready for storage. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I do have a lot happening out in the greenhouse in the high tunnel and I'll get some videos up next week about that. But in the meantime, I had to do something with the jalapenos. I was getting so tired of eating the poppers and you guys gave me really great suggestions about the cowboy candy and how you can use up a lot of jalapenos. And I had never heard of cowboy candy. So I looked up the recipe and I thought, oh, that sounds pretty easy. And I like to can things, so that's what I did. So I hope you guys like this little segment on cooking. And like always, please leave me questions, comments, and suggestions down below. And we'll see you guys next video.